Today I'm going to be working on a fluorescent light fixture that has two ballasts. This is a four bulb fixture and I am going to replace it with one ballast. It's fairly easy to do. You just need to know how to wire it in and that's what I'm going to show you right now. Hi everybody, I'm Jim Deardorff and this is Detroit DIY. Let's dig into this. This is the fixture we're going to be working on today. Two of the bulbs will not burn. One of the ballasts have went bad. Rather than replacing it with one two bulb ballast, I'm going to put an instant start four bulb ballast in there and then I'm going to be installing LED fluorescent replacement lights in T8. This fixture is currently holding T12 bulbs, but the lamp holders are the same. So I'll just put a T8 ballast in it and put T8 bulbs and then it'll match my other fixtures. I'm also going to change out that light deflector or the cover into something that's going to work a lot better. Those are dirty and they just don't work very well. They block more light than they help. First thing I'm going to need to do is get this cover out of the way. It just has a couple of little latches right here that hold it shut. Pull it down, open it up. I'm just going to go ahead and take this right out of my way. Lifts up just like that. Now it's the center cover that's hiding the ballast or the baluster under here. You'll see two little tabs that are holding it in place. And if you just squeeze the cover by those tabs, it'll release it. And you just have to wiggle it out. Maybe in our case right now, I'm just going to push it over to the side. Now what I need to do is get the wires disconnected. So I have to turn off the power for that. Let's get a closer look. So I'm going to need to remove this wire nut and this wire nut and get these smaller wires out of there for the ballast. There are the two ballasts. And as you can see, there is twice the amount of wires in this fixture because there are two ballasts. So I'm going to get these power wires disconnected and then we'll get into this replacement. Now with the power wires disconnected, I had to re put the wire nuts back on because this light is feeding the next light. What we want to do is just take your wire cutters and cut these wires right off the ballast. Then we want to do the same thing with this ballast, cut these wires right off. Over here, cut these wires right off. And once again on the back side of this ballast, just cut them right off. Now what I want to do is remove these two ballasts. The ballasts have one screw that hold them in right here. The other end just slides into place. So this screw is the one we want to remove. Once you get the screw out, just wiggle the ballast toward you. And we'll get that other one out and we'll get this thing going on. So these are the ballast I just removed. And as you can see, these are two bulb ballasts. And what we're putting in is a four bulb ballast. So it's much nicer just to have one ballast in the fixture instead of two. And not only that, it's a less expensive replacement. In order to wire this properly, I'm going to have to check these lamp holders. On one end of the fixture, this lamp holder and this lamp holder will be tied together. And on the other end of the fixture, this lamp holder and this lamp holder will be tied together. I need to determine those two ends in order to wire it properly. We're going to use a continuity tester, a voltmeter set on ohms or continuity to do that. If you don't have one, they're inexpensive. You can get one on Amazon for just a few bucks and that's all you need. They work just fine. With my voltmeter set in the ohms setting, I'm going to just check this side. Once I figure out one side, the other side is the opposite. So I don't really need to go any further than that. There's little brass tabs inside the lamp holder that the pins on the lamp connect to. And that's what we want to just go to them and see. These do not have continuity between the insides. Let's go to the outsides. Mm, 
not getting any continuity. I was not able to find continuity between the two on this side or on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull these assemblies down and see what's going on. Maybe I have deeper issues than I realize. As we can see here, there are two white wires connecting this lamp holder to this lamp holder with the yellow wires feeding from it. So what I need to do is take a closer look at this and make sure that those two are jumped together and that there's not an issue with these wires. Now that I have this down here and I'm checking on the tabs for each one of these, I do have continuity. So those two are connected. And these two are connected. So we're good to go. I'm going to mark them and put them back up. It doesn't really matter which ballast holder you choose to put your new ballast in. Just so long as your power wires reach. The other wires, that's why we cut the other wires right off of the ballast. So that they should be plenty long. With the ballast installed, we can start wiring. I'm going to trim some of these up as we go. So because we have twice as many wires in our fixture as we do on our ballast, some of these, are, every connection is going to be two wires from the light fixture to one wire to the ballast. First, we're going to hook up our yellow wires. They're the most straightforward. So we're going to sort through these. And what's going to happen here is two yellow wires from the fixture is going to go to one yellow wire from the ballast. It doesn't matter which yellow wire you choose. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and just shorten these up a little bit, clean this mess up some. So I'm just going to snip this one here. Use my wire strippers. Strip them off at about five eighths of an inch. Now that I got that, I'm going to take the two wires from my fixture and I'm just going to bring them around. I'll have a little extra here. Cut them off together and strip them off at about 5 eighths of an inch. So now that I got them stripped off, I'm just going to use a small wire nut and connect these three wires together. Don't over tighten your wire nuts because you'll just snap these small wires off. I'm just going to tuck it up there real nice. And I'm going to do the exact same thing here. One yellow wire to the two yellow wires from the other side of the fixture. Now that the yellow wires are hooked up on both sides, we're going to come over here. So both of the blues are going to come to this side that the two outside lamp holders are connected together. And two blues are going to connect to one blue and two reds are going to connect to the other blue. Then the red wires will come over to this side and do the same thing. Once again, I'm just going to get rid of a bunch of excess here. Strip these off. Okay. 
So now our other blue will go to the red. I'm going to put a diagram up so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. You can screenshot it as the video is playing and that will help you immensely in understanding the wiring of this and give you a chart to have a look at as you go. With this side complete, all we need to do is take these two red wires and hook them up on the other side. So it's going to be one red to two reds on this side and one red to two blues. With that done, I'm going to go ahead and put this diagram up right now so you can have a good look at what just took place. All I need to do now is to connect my power and my neutral, and then we're ready to go. Get this cover back on and get the bulbs in. With a flashlight giving us some light to see here, I'm going to go ahead and connect the hot wire first. Tug, make sure it's in there good. Then we'll get the neutral wire. We can tuck everything in there real nice and get our cover back on. As you can see from the diagram, one yellow wire to each side. The red wires come over to the side that the two enter lamp holders are tied together. And the blue wires go to the side where the two outer lamp holders are tied together. Now we're just going to get our cover back on and get some bulbs in. It's a little bit of a pain to get the wires in there sometimes, but you get them in. Alright, now we're ready for some bulbs. With these LED replacements, you can see the LED strip in the bulb. And what you want to do is make sure that is positioned up once you lock the bulb into place. Okay, one locked in. Ooh, what a difference with one bulb, huh? Now that all four bulbs are in, you can tell they're a little cold. You can see the light pulsing through. I'm going to go ahead and get the cover taken care of and we'll get that on. I'm going to replace that light reflecting cover with this to let the light through better and also protect it in case anything shoots up there and hits it. This is just wire lath that you would use to put over wood or cement of any sort to plaster it and uh, this is going to work out just fine. If you would like to get yourself an amazing shirt like this, I've put a link down in the description to my store. You can get sweatshirts, t-shirts, hats, coffee cups, and mugs. I'd greatly appreciate you doing so and supporting the channel. So what I'm going to need to do is pop this apart, get this lens out of here, shield, and match it up on this and get it cut to the correct size.
Now with one side lined up, I'm just going to use some tape and put it down on here to mark where I'm going to cut it on the other side. Now with that marked out, I'm just going to use tin snips and cut it to size. Now with the mesh cut, I've got it slid in here. I'll just put my end back on and then we will be ready to get this back up. And that is our completed project. Looks good. I'm sure that nothing will get up there and get the bulbs. And I'm really happy with that. That's all we got for this time. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would greatly appreciate it if you would consider doing so. If you enjoyed yourself, click on one of the videos that are going to pop up right there. And always remember to respect the power of your power tools. We'll see you soon.